Are you going to a party on Saturday? I was thinking about it. Are you? Yeah. I heard it's going to be a lot of fun. Really? Well, what time does it start? It starts at 8 p.m., and I really think you should go. Well, who all is going to be there? Everyone from school. How do you know it's going to be so fun? This party is going to have a DJ, food, and drinks. Wow, that does sound like it's going to be fun. So, am I going to see you at the party? Yeah, I will be there. What are you doing this weekend? I'm not sure. What are you doing? I was thinking of maybe taking a drive to the beach. That sounds like a great idea. Would you be interested in joining me? Sure, I'd love to go with you. When would you be leaving? I thought that we could leave around 8 on Saturday morning. That would give us plenty of time to explore. Did you know that there is a music festival on the beach in Santa Barbara? That was part of my plan. Well, then I'll see you on Saturday. Thanks for asking me to go with you. Hey, Robert, what are you doing this weekend? I didn't have any big plans. We are putting together a birthday party for Mary. That sounds like fun. Where will it be? We thought it would be fun to have a pool party at Jay's house. Oh, good. Can I bring anything? We will be providing hot dogs, hamburgers, and cake, but people can bring side dishes. I'm assuming that the dress is casual. Dress casually and bring your bathing suit. Wonderful. Just email me the time and date and I'll be there. Mr. Lee, I was wondering if you and your wife had plans for next Friday night. Yes, I think we might be free. What did you have in mind? I've mailed a formal written invitation to your home inviting you to a dinner party at my home. That sounds great. Is it casual? Actually, we thought it would be fun to have a formal sit-down dinner for the holidays. That sounds good. It will give my wife a chance to dress up. Yes, we've invited four other couples, so it should be a good mix of people. That sounds wonderful. Will there be anyone there that I know? Oh, yes. Everyone we are inviting is from our company. Great. I'll look forward to it. We'll make sure and check the mail for our invitation. Joe, how are you doing? Pretty good, Mary. I was wondering if you'd like to come to a party on Friday night. I am free that night, and a party sounds good. Fine. It will be at my house. Do you know how to get there? I kind of know where you live, but could you email me your address? I could do that. Do you have anyone that you would like to bring with you to the party? I would really like to bring my friend Jake, if that would be okay. Oh, yeah. I remember Jake. That would be fine. Would you like some help with the food? Just bring along whatever it is that you and Jake would like to drink. I need some flowers for my wife because it is her birthday. We have some fresh red roses. How much are the roses? Twenty dollars per dozen. That sounds like a good deal. Yes, that is today's sale price. I'll take a dozen. Is there anything else you would like to get? No, the roses will be fine. I'm sure your wife will love them. I have no idea what to buy for Mary for her birthday. Me neither. Would you like to go in and buy her a gift together? Yes, that would be good. We need to think about what she might like. What are her interests? If I remember right, she likes music, skiing, and reading. You know... Maybe we could get her some concert tickets. Who would know her favorite groups? Her roommate, Malia, might know what her favorite groups are. Yeah! Malia would be able to help us choose a concert. Let's give Malia a call and ask her for her help right now. Good. Maybe Malia would like to go in with us on this gift. Welcome, Ron. Come on in. Hi, Malia. What a nice home. We enjoy it, too. How long have you lived here? About four years now. Well, it is very beautiful. Ron, have a seat, and I'll get us something to drink. Good. I am really thirsty. You know, it is really it is hot outside. I have lemonade, iced tea, and mango juice. Mango juice would be perfect. Thank you. Hi, I haven't seen you in a while. Yes, it has been a long time. How long has it been since we last saw each other? I think that we last saw each other two years ago. What have you been doing for the past two years? I have been going to graduate school at USC. What are you majoring in? I'm studying international communications. You should easily be able to find a job with that major. I am counting on being able to get a good job. Ashley, what a great dinner party. Thank you, Joe. What would you like to drink with your meal? I can offer you wine, 
Mango juice or water? Just water would be fine. Excellent choice. Can I dish you up some chicken? Yes! The chicken looks wonderful! How about some salad to go with your chicken? Sure, I love salad. Would you like to have rice with your chicken? Yes, I think that rice will go perfectly with my chicken. Good. Julie, if you could pass this plate down to Joe, I think we are all set. Mary, it's good to see you. Josh and I were just on our way back home from the beach and thought we'd drop by. I am so glad that you decided to stop by. Yes, it is stop by. I am so glad that you decided to stop by. Yes, it has been a long time since we have seen you. Mary, can I get Josh or you something to drink? Oh, no, thank you. We aren't all that thirsty. How about a little snack then? No, thank you. We just ate lunch a little while ago. Well, then, how is your family? Everyone is doing great. My sister finally had her baby. Hi, Julie. How are things going? Everything is great, Tad. How are you? I'm doing really well. Tad, I'm pretty hungry right now. Want to walk over and check out the food table? Julie, do you know who that woman is over there by the window? That is Mary. I heard that she's moved in with Lee. I thought that he was with Malia. Oh, that relationship is history. Malia hooked up with a guy she met on holiday. I bet that Lee wasn't too happy with that. Actually, he was okay with it. They hadn't been getting along too well. Their wedding was absolutely beautiful. It really was. I want a wedding like that. How much do you think they spent on their wedding? I think it might have cost them a nice chunk of change. Do you want a big wedding like that? Not really. I'd rather have a small wedding. I wouldn't want a small wedding. Why not? I want my wedding to be big and memorable. It can be small and memorable, too. Well, to each his own. You are absolutely right. Do you want to go to the beach tonight? Sure. Which beach are we going to? I wanted to go to Malibu Beach. This bus goes all, this bus goes all the way to the Santa Anita Mall, right? Yeah, it'll take us there. Are you positive? I always catch this bus. How long is this bus ride? Hmm, it, it only takes about a half an hour. Where do we get off at? We can get off the bus right behind Macy's. There's a stop right next to the mall? Yeah, it's right in the parking lot. That's cool. Yeah, I know. I need to get on another bus, but I have no more money. Where'd the rest of your money for the bus go? I spent it on a bag of chips. Well, that was an intelligent thing to do. You don't have any spare change? No, I don't. How am I going to get home? You should just ask the bus driver for a transfer. How much does that cost? It's free. Just go ask for one. Thanks for letting me know. No problem. Just go ask. Where is the bus? I think it's running late. It should have been here 30 minutes ago. It should be coming soon. It better, because I'm already late for work. I can't stand riding the bus. Me too. It's so unreliable. That is true. It's also horrible having to be at a bus stop in any kind of weather. Exactly. That's the worst part. I think it's time we started driving. Yes, I agree. Is this our bus stop? I think this is it. Get off. Dude, where are we at? I have no idea. I thought this was the right stop. It doesn't look right to me. Did you make us get off early? I think we did. I should not have listened to you. I really thought this was our stop. Now we have to walk. Maybe we should just wait for the next bus. I need to buy a bus pass. What kind of bus pass would you like to buy? What are the different kinds? You can get a day, a weekly, a monthly, or a student pass. Could I get a student pass, please? Sure. Can I see your student ID? Sure. Here it is. Very good. How much for the pass? It's free. For the monthly sticker, it's $24. Okay, I'll take it. Thank you for your purchase. You're welcome. Where do we get off at? I think we have a little ways to go. This bus ride is taking forever. I know. Did we miss our stop? 
I'm not sure. Didn't you say you knew where to get off the bus? I don't know. We may have... I don't know. We may have missed our stop. Are you serious? Yeah, we did miss it. I can't catch the bus with you anymore. Sorry. So, where is this bus supposed to take us? It should take us back up to Altadena. Well, don't you know for sure? I'm not really sure if it does or not. Are you sure we got on the right bus? I've never taken this bus, but I think it's the right one. This place doesn't look like Altadena. That's true, and we have been on this bus for a while. Read one of those street signs or something. Yikes! Temple City? That's the last time I'm trusting you with the transportation. My bad, but at least we know the right bus to take us back. How much does it cost for a bus pass? It'll be $65 for a monthly pass. Is there anything cheaper than that? If you're in school, you can get a student pass. Well, I am. How much will that cost? The pass is free. I don't have to pay for anything? You'll only have to pay for the monthly sticker. How much is the monthly sticker? It's $24 for each month. I'll take the student bus pass. Okay, I will get you one. Hey, how's it going? Good, how about you? Not bad, thanks for asking. Have you been on the bus for a while? Only about 15 minutes. Do you ride this bus often? Not really, I usually drive. You have a car? Yes, I do. So why aren't you driving it? Once our president lowers gas prices, I'll be driving again. Vroom, vroom. That's smart thinking. Can you tell me what bus to catch from Altadena to downtown L.A.? You can catch the 486. That bus goes all the way to L.A.? I believe so. Is the bus ride long? It only takes 45 minutes to an hour. That's all? It's a pretty short trip. Now, is there always a lot of people on that bus? It only gets crowded once it gets to L.A. Oh, okay. Thank you. No problem. Have you bought your bus pass yet? I didn't get it yet. Well, why not? I have no idea where to get it from. You should have just asked me. Well then, where do I get it? You can get it from the student business office. I didn't know that. I know you didn't. I appreciate you telling me. No problem. I'll make sure to get it tomorrow. What bus can I catch to get to the gold line? Tell me where you live. I live in Altadena. You can catch the 264. It goes to the gold line? Yes, it does. What street do I go to catch it? You can catch an Altadena Drive. I had no idea that bus went to the station. Yes, it does. I'm glad you told me. You're welcome. Do you know which bus will take me from PHS to Vaughn's? Which Vaughn's do you want to go to? It's on Fair Oaks and Orange Grove. You actually need to catch two buses. Okay, which one do I need to take? The first bus you need to get on is the 268. What do I do next? Once you get to Fair Oaks and Washington, get off. Then what should I do? You need to get on the 261. It goes... I live in Altadena. You can catch the 264. It goes to the gold line? Yes, it does. What street do I go to catch it? You can catch an Altadena Drive. I had no idea that bus went to the station. Yes, it does. I'm glad you told me. You're welcome. Do you know which bus will take me from PHS to Vaughn's? Which Vaughn's do you want to go to? It's on Fair Oaks and Orange Grove. You actually need to catch two buses. Okay, which one do I need to take? The first bus you need to get on is the 268. What do I do next? Once you get to Fair Oaks and Washington, get off. Then what should I do? You need to get on the 261. It goes all the way to Vaughn's. Is that it? That's it. I really need to find a bus that goes by PCC. Where do you need to catch this bus at? All the way up on Las Flores Drive and Fair Oaks. I can tell you what bus to catch, but you have to walk a little bit. Walking isn't a problem for me. The 267 stops at Altadena Drive in Fair Oaks. Which direction do I want? Get on the bus heading west. Do you know where I get off at? Del Mar and Hill. Thanks for letting me know, homegirl. No problem. Did you get Did you get your bus pass? I don't think I'm going to get one. Why not? It's just a waste of cash, man. Actually, it'll save you money. Oh, really? Yeah, because you can use your bus pass as many times as you want. Really? Yeah, and you never have to worry about scraping for change. That sounds like a good deal. Yeah, so are you going to buy one? I will. This bus... Planning on transferring? Yes, what about you? 
Yeah, I think so. Where do you want to go? I was thinking either CSULA or UCLA. Those are great schools. Where do you want to transfer to? Huh? I'm not really sure yet. You still have time to figure it out. That's true. Hopefully, you'll figure it out pretty soon. I will. Good luck with CSULA and UCLA. What are your plans? What plans are you talking about? Your plans as far as college. I want to transfer. You want to transfer? That's what I plan to do. Where do you want to transfer to? I want to go to school out of state. Which state? Maybe New York. That would be a big move. I'm still thinking about it. What classes have you taken so far? I've been working on my GE classes. Is that all? That's it for right now. What about your other classes? I'm working towards transferring schools. Which classes have you finished already? I've finished all of my English and math classes. How many classes do you have left for your GE? Only three. That's amazing. I'm almost ready to transfer. Are you planning on taking classes next semester? Yeah, that's the plan. What classes are you going to take? I'm going to take an English and math class. What else are you taking? I'm also going to take a psychology class. Is that for your major? It counts towards my major, but I'm taking it as part of my GE. Oh, so you're working on finishing your GE. That's all I'm trying to do right now. Why are you only working on your GE classes? Once I finish these classes, then I can transfer. What are you doing? I'm just filling out applications. Applications for what? I'm filling out college applications. But you're already in college. I'm going to transfer. What school are you going to transfer to? I still need to fill out the applications. What schools are you applying to? I'm applying to NYU and UCLA. I wish you luck. Thank you. I hope I get accepted. Is this where I go to register for classes? This is it. I need to add a few classes. What classes would you like to add? I need to take some classes that will help me transfer. Have you finished any classes so far? This is my first semester. Did you already take the placement test? I took it last month. What English and math classes were you placed in? I got placed in Math 131 and English 1A. Okay, I'll register you for both of these classes. What can I help you with today? I need to talk to you about transferring. Where did you want to transfer to? I have no idea. You have plenty of time to think about it. What do I need to do in order to transfer? You're going to need to finish your general education. How many classes is that? The GE is 60 credits worth of classes. Is that a lot? You can finish in about two years. Oh, that shouldn't be a problem at all. Can you help me with something, sir? What do you need? Well, I was planning on transferring soon. Where are you going to transfer? I want to transfer either to NYU or UCLA. I'm glad to hear that. But what can I do for you? I was wondering if you could write a couple of reference letters for me. Is that all? That's all I need from you. I can do that for you. You're a lifesaver. They'll be ready tomorrow. You got a letter in the mail. Give it to me. What is it? It's from NYU. What does it say? I didn't get it. It's from NYU. What does it say? I didn't get accepted. You can't be serious. I'm serious. Are you all right? NYU is my first choice. I'm sorry that you didn't get in. I'll just have to wait for you, Silway. Have you figured out where you want to transfer to? I can't think of where to go. Where would you like to go to school? I really don't know. You can't think of anything? I really like where I'm at now. So why don't you just stay there? That may be what I'm going to do. It's a perfectly good school. You're absolutely right. Do you know what you're going to do now? I'm just going to stay at PCC. You got a letter in the mail! Give it to me! What is it? It's my acceptance letter from UCLA. What does it say? I've been accepted! Are you serious? I'm serious. Good for you! NYU was my first choice, 
But UCLA is just fine. I'm so proud of you. Thanks. I'm proud of myself too. Are you ready yet? What are you talking about? You're transferring tomorrow. Yeah, I'm ready. Are you nervous? Of course I am. What are you nervous about? I won't know anybody. That shouldn't be a problem. Why? It's good to meet new people. You're right. I should be okay. Are you new here? Yes, I am. Is this your first year in college? I actually transferred here from another school. Which school? I transferred from PCC. How do you like it here compared to PCC? I love it here. Do you like it better here or at PCC? Don't get me wrong. I like it here, but PCC is better. So, why did you leave PCC? Because I got my AA and am now working towards my bachelor's degree. Are you new to this school? Yes, I am. Hi, I need help planning my vacation. Sure, where would you like to go? I haven't decided where to go yet. Do you enjoy warm or cold climates? I am thinking that I might enjoy a tropical climate. I have some brochures here that you might like to look at. These look great. Do you know how much you want to spend on this vacation? I have about a thousand dollars to spend on this trip. Well, take these brochures and get back to me when you want to make your reservations. Hi, could you help me make a plane reservation? I would be happy to help you. Where do you plan on going? I'm going to go to Hawaii. For that destination, you may leave from Los Angeles or Burbank Airport. Which would you prefer? I think that I would rather leave from Los Angeles Airport. Would you prefer a morning or afternoon departure? I need to leave in the morning. Fine. On your return flight, do you have a preference as to morning or afternoon? Mm, I would prefer to return in the afternoon. I have booked you on a flight at a great rate. Here are your tickets. Have you ever booked a flight online? I have booked airline tickets online many times. It has worked out great for me. How do you book airline tickets online? The best way is to go to a website like Travelocity or Expedia. They can help you find the best price. What information do I need to provide to book a flight? You need to know where you are going and when you want to travel. How do I get the cheapest rate? Usually, you get the best price by having some flexibility in your travel time and dates. Can I fly on different airlines? You can choose the airline you prefer to fly with, or let the website find you the best deal. I would like to book a flight. Can I help you with that? Where are you traveling to? I am traveling to Singapore. What date will you be traveling? I want to fly on June fourteenth. Do you want to fly out of Los Angeles International or Burbank Airport? I would like to fly out of Los Angeles International Airport. Would you prefer a morning or an afternoon flight? I would rather fly in the morning. Well, I have you booked on a flight that will fit your schedule. The tickets will arrive by mail in a few days. I would like to make a hotel reservation. What day will you be arriving? I will be arriving on May fourteenth. How long will you be staying? I need the room for three nights. How many people will be staying in the room? Two will be staying in the room. Would you like a smoking or non-smoking room? We need a non-smoking room. We have booked a room for you. Please be assured to arrive before four o'clock on your check-in date. I need to get a passport. The first thing you need to do is go to the post office and get an application. After I fill it out, where do I take it? You need to take your application to a specially designated post office. They will help you mail it to the proper place. How do I know where these agencies are? They are listed online. All you need to do is put in your zip code. Will I need to bring anything else? You also need to bring your original birth certificate and two pictures. Look at the website for details. What if I need a, a visa? You only need a visa for certain countries. Contact that particular consulate for details. I don't know how much luggage I can take on the plane with me. You need to look up each individual airline online to get their restrictions. I just wonder what the general rules are. In the United States, if you fly economy on a domestic flight, you usually have to pay for checked baggage. What about international flights? On international flights, you usually have a two bag limit with weight restrictions. What about carry-on bags? All airlines will allow you to bring one small carry-on that will fit under the seat. Sometimes you can also bring a purse or a handbag. 
Do you have any words of wisdom for travelers in regard to luggage? Keep it light in regard to what you pack. Figure out what you absolutely need and leave the rest at home. I haven't traveled much and need to know what I can carry in my luggage. There are different considerations. You have to consider airline rules and rules for customs. How do I find out about each country's customs regulations? You can go to a website for the particular country you are interested in. Is there anything I should keep in mind for all countries? Do not ever lie about what you are carrying in your luggage. If you get caught, there is a major fine just for lying. How about regulations for what you can carry on an airline? The internet is a good source for special regulations for particular airports and airlines. I heard that I can't bring my own bottled water on the plane. You can buy water at the airport once you pass luggage inspection. Can you drive me to the airport tomorrow afternoon? I would be happy to drive you to the airport. When do you need to leave? For an international flight, the airline wants us to check in two hours in advance, so I need to leave my house at two. Do you have a lot of luggage to check in? I am only carrying one large bag and a carry-on. I'll bring our smaller car then. Do you know where you need to get dropped off? Yes, I am flying out on Singapore Air to Sydney, so I need to be at the international terminal. Will I be able to come in with you to say goodbye? Actually, with the airport regulations being so strict, you should probably just drop me off at the curb. That will work out fine. Just give me a call if anything changes. Would you be able to pick me up at the airport next Sunday? Sure, I would be happy to help you. What time are you arriving? I'll be arriving at three o'clock in the afternoon. By the time you pick up your luggage, it will be around three thirty. What if I meet you outside at the curb? That would be a good time to meet. But what if I am running late? I can track your plane online. I can just put in the flight number, and I can see if you are on time. Can you make sure that you have your cell phone with you so I can call you? Yes, that would be a good idea. If something happens and you can't make it, just let me know, and I'll, I'll book a super shuttle. Don't worry, I'll be able to pick you up. Hi. Continue. Where do we clear customs? You will pick your bags up first. Should we have our passports out? You should have your passport out and your declarations form totally filled out before you get into line. My friend here is continuing on to Puerto Rico, and we were wondering if she has to go through customs. Travelers who are continuing on to another country will check it over there and be directed where to go next. Their bags have been checked through. Are there any restrooms in this area? Yes, right over there. After you pass through the line, can you help me figure out where I should go first to check in at this airport? If you already have your ticket, we can take your bags here at the curbside check-in. How do I know what gate to go to? There are arrivals and departures listed on the screens inside. Is there some place where I can? Find out what I can carry in my baggage. There are signs posted near the baggage check area to help you know what the rules are. Can my friend go inside with me? Your friend can go with you to the ticket counter, but not past the security check. When I return, will this curbside area be a good place to get picked up? This area is for only for departures. The bottom level is for arrivals. Can I ask you some questions about the in-flight instructions? I would be happy to help you. Clarify anything you need help with. Could you help me find out where my nearest exit is? There is a card in your seat pocket that shows you where your nearest exit is. Yours is two rows in front of you. Where is my oxygen mask that you were talking about? Your oxygen mask is above you, next to the reading light. It will drop down when you need it. I am concerned about landing in the water. The life jackets are under your seat. You can also use your seat cushion as a flotation device. What is the most important thing we can do to stay safe? The most important thing you can do is keep your seat belt fastened when the captain asks you to. That rain is really coming down out there. Yes, it's kind of crazy weather outside. I get kind of nervous flying in this kind of weather. I don't think anyone feels all that comfortable flying in a storm. Do you think it will be this bad the whole trip on the Weather Channel? This storm looked to be a big one. 
it will probably be with us for a while. I worry about too much ice on the wings. I have to believe that our pilot knows what he is doing and will be okay. When do you think the pilot will turn off the fasten seatbelt sign? He'll turn it off as soon as he knows that we are through the turbulence. Do you think that we are going to crash? Maybe. You just never know. I was wondering if I could order something to drink. Yes, we have alcoholic beverages as well as coffee, tea, or soda. How much do drinks cost? Our alcoholic beverages are five dollars each. All others are complimentary. When will our meals be served? We will serve a snack with the beverages. Dinner will be served a few hours into our flight. What are our dinner choices? You have a choice of chicken, fish, or beef. I will be bringing a menu by shortly. I am a vegetarian and need a vegetarian meal. Oh, vegetarian meals need to be requested at least two days before your flight. I might be able to find you extra servings of vegetables. However, my flight just arrived late, and I need to know what to do. That's okay. The airline computer is keeping track of what is happening with you. Do I have to call anyone? By speaking with us at the arrival gate, we can fix the problem for you and direct you. What if there are no more connecting flights for today on this airline? We will go online to see if there is something available with this airline. If we need to, we can check for a flight with another carrier. What if I can't find another flight out here tonight? We can help you find transportation to a local hotel. Will the airline pay for my room if I have to spend the night at the airport? Since the flight delay was our fault, and you are count- continuing on with our airline, we will cover the cost of a hotel room. I just arrived and need help getting transportation to my hotel. There are shuttles, taxis, and buses that go all over the city. Which one is the best form of transportation? It depends on where you want to go. If you are going to a well-known hotel, they have their own shuttles that drop you right off at the door. Where can I catch a cab? All ground transportation leaves from the island as you walk out of the arrival gate. Where can I rent a car? The car rental agencies are against the wall as you exit. Are there any subways in this town? We have a subway system, but you need to take a shuttle to get to the station. I was wondering if you could help me book a few tours. You have come to the right place. How many days will you be visiting here? I'll be here for a week. Have you ever visited our city before? This is my first time visiting the city. What are you interested in? Do you enjoy museums and buildings, or would you rather hit some outdoor hot spots and venues? I really enjoy visiting museums and art galleries. We have tours for all interests. Do you have a city tour? Yes. In fact, I usually suggest that to visitors. I am having some big problems on this tour. What seems to be the problem? We are here to help you. This tour company seems very disorganized. No one seems to have a clear picture as to where we are going, and when we are going to get there. I will see what I can do about that. How about the accommodations on the tour? So far, we have been staying in really out of the way accommodations. Is anything wrong with your room? The television in our room was broken, and they didn't send anyone to fix it. I will complain to the hotel manager about that. How about the hotel restaurant? The food in the restaurant was terrible, and a few people from our group got sick. I am so sorry that you had such a bad experience. We would like to offer you a free city tour and lunch to make it up to you. Where should we go sightseeing today? I think that some things might be best done in the morning and others in the afternoon. I think that I would like to go to the beach this morning. That would be a good place to start our sightseeing. We could have breakfast there. I hear that there is a very nice natural history museum there. Yes, it would be nice to check that out since we are so close by. Where should we go in the afternoon? I think that I would like to go to the amusement park. It's supposed to be quite good. At the end of the day, I would love to take in the sunset at the restaurant by the park. That sounds like a great idea. Let's go get a map. I guess that we won't be going rollerblading today with all this rain. Yes, rollerblading in six inches of water would not be fun. What would you like to do instead? I think that maybe we- there for some. I want to look at the souvenirs over at the souvenir stand. What do you need to buy? I usually buy myself some jewelry or some clothing. I always buy a lot of things for my family. How about you? Oh yes, they practically swarm me when I get home. What are some of their favorite gifts? The teenagers like me to bring them T-shirts that you can't get anywhere else. This stuff is pretty expensive, isn't it? Souvenirs cost a lot for what they are, but we can shop around for better prices. 
let's go across the street and see what they have over there. I am uh, really not feeling very well. Do you think that you need to go to a doctor? I think that we should maybe check into how to find a doctor in this country. I don't know where to begin looking for a doctor here. I think that we should call the front desk to see if they can help us. I have an American Express card. I heard that their travel services are quite good. That sounds like a great idea. Do you have travel insurance? Yes, I bought travel health insurance. I'm going to call down to the office right now and see what they can do for us. I can't find my purse. What was in your purse? It contained my wallet and my passport. How much money was in your wallet? There was about $200 in my wallet, and I had some traveler's check in there, too. We can call American Express to deal with the traveler's checks. How about credit cards? I had a MasterCard and a Visa card. We can look at the back of my cards to get the emergency phone numbers. Where do I report that my passport is missing? We need to take a cab to the embassy to report that right away. They will help us. Is there anything special I need to think about as I tour this city? You need to keep in mind that this is a very poor country. Things are a little more desperate here than you are used to. What do I need to look for? Be particularly vigilant anytime you are in a crowded place with other tourists. Pickpockets know that tourists aren't paying all that much attention. I have seen many children on the street begging. So what do I do about them? It is best not to give money to children or other beggars on the street, as they can swarm you. You can give money to a local charity. Should I be concerned about what I eat or drink? Do not drink any water that isn't bottled. Avoid street vendor food. How about being out on the street at night? I would take a cab to your destination at night. Don't walk down the street alone. This is really a fascinating city. Yes, the city is thousands of years old and has quite a history. I really love this temple we are visiting. As you enter the temple, please remove your shoes as the others are doing. It's so quiet here. Yes, they are showing respect to their gods. People come here to pray and meditate. I noticed that the women all have some sort of head covering. It is a tradition that women cover their heads while in the temple. I noticed that all of the people were eating with their hands at dinner last night. Yes, that is another custom that people practice here. Is this where I catch the super shuttle? Yes, this is where you catch the super shuttle. Where are you headed? I am headed home to Pasadena. You can tell where each van is headed by the name on the front of the van. I am the driver for Glendale, but your van should be along in a minute. Do you know how much it costs to get to Pasadena? I believe the cost of that trip is $60. Do you know if the shuttle goes directly to Pasadena, or does it make a lot of stops? Before you pay the driver, you need to ask him. He needs to be up front with you about the number of stops he will be making. Do I need to have exact change? You don't need exact change, but it is useful to have smaller bills. It's great to be home. Did you have a nice trip? It had its surprises, but when all was said and done, it was a good trip. What was your favorite part? I loved our full moon beach party. What were the people like? Were they friendly? The people were basically quite friendly. Did you bring me anything? I brought you a lovely souvenir that I will be giving you for your birthday next week. I can't wait until I get to be the one to go on vacation. Hi, I need help planning my vacation. Sure, where would you like to go? I haven't decided where to go yet. Do you enjoy warm or cold climates? I am thinking that I might enjoy a tropical climate. I have some brochures here that you might like to look at. These look great. Do you know how much you want to spend on this vacation? I have about $1,000 to spend on this trip. Well, take these brochures and get back to me when you want to make your reservations. Hi, could you help me make a plane reservation? I would be happy to help you. Where do you plan on going? I'm going to go to Hawaii. For that destination, you may leave from Los Angeles or Burbank Airport. Which would you prefer? I think that I would rather leave from Los Angeles Airport. Would you prefer a morning or afternoon departure? I need to leave in the morning. Fine. On your return flight, do you have a preference as to morning or afternoon? Mm, I would prefer to return in the afternoon. I have booked you on a flight at a great rate. Here are your tickets. Have you ever booked a flight online? I have booked airline tickets online many times. It has worked out great for me. 
How do you book airline tickets online? The best way is to go to a website like Travelocity or Expedia. They can help you find the best price. What information do I need to provide to book a flight? You need to know where you are going and when you want to travel. How do I get the cheapest rate? Usually, you get. Where do you live? I live in Pasadena. Where is Pasadena? It's in California. Is it in Northern California? No, it's in Southern California. Is Pasadena a big city? It's pretty big. How big is pretty big? It has about a hundred and forty thousand people. How big is Los Angeles? It has about three million people. Do you have a car? Yes, I do. What kind of car do you have? I have a Honda. Is it new? It was new in two thousand and three. So it's pretty old now. Yes, it is, but it still looks good. Do you take good care of it? Oh yes, I wash it once a week. Do you change the oil? My mechanic changes the oil twice a year. Do you have a girlfriend? No, I don't. Do you? I don't have a girlfriend either. Why not? I don't know. Maybe I'm not rich enough. Girls like guys with money. They sure do. They like guys with new cars. I don't have money or a new car. Me neither. But girls like guys who are funny. Yeah, maybe we should learn some good jokes. Where are you going? I have to walk the dog. What kind of dog do you have? I have a little poodle. Poodles bark a lot. They sure do. They bark at everything. They never shut up. Why did you get a poodle? It's my mom's dog. So she likes poodles. She says they're good watchdogs. Can I borrow five dollars? Sure. Why do you need it? I want to buy lunch. Where's your money? It's not in my wallet. Your wallet is empty. I don't have even one dollar in it. Being broke is no fun. Even if it's only for a short while, it's always good to have friends. Friends will lend you money when you're broke, as long as you pay them back. Word. Let's go to the beach. That's a great idea. We haven't been in a while. We haven't been in a month. The last time we went, you almost drowned. No, I didn't. Then why did the lifeguard dive into the water? I think he wanted to cool off. He swam right up to you, and then he turned right around. Maybe you're right. Maybe we should get going. Are you married? No, I'm divorced. When did you get divorced? I got divorced two years ago. Why did you get divorced? My wife left me. Why did she leave you? She said she didn't love me anymore. Wow, that's terrible. Yes, it was. Why didn't she love you anymore? She fell in love. With my best friend, I'm bored. What's on TV? Nothing. There must be something on TV. Nothing that's interesting. What about the new game show? Which one? Deal or no deal? Tell me you're joking. I love that show. I watched it once. That was enough. It's on right now. Let's watch it 
together. I like living here. I agree. Pasadena is a nice city. It's not too big. And it's not too small. It has great weather all year long. It has the Rose Parade. It has beautiful houses. It has wonderful restaurants. It has great schools. It's close to the mountains. The people are friendly. I'm not ever going to leave. We need a new mattress. What's the matter with this one? It's not comfortable. It seems fine to me. I toss and turn all night. You should stop drinking coffee. Look at these marks on my arms. What are they? They are bites. Did the cat bite you? No, the bed bugs in that mattress bit me. Okay, let's get a new mattress. My laptop is so slow. Buy a new one. I would if I had the money. Why is it so slow? That's a good question. Did you take it to a computer shop? I would if I had the money. Well, I guess you have to live with it. Sometimes I want to throw it out the window. You don't want to do that. Why not? You might hit someone in the head. What's for dinner? I'm not sure. How about a pizza? You had pizza for lunch. But I love pizza. Everybody loves pizza. So why can't I have pizza for dinner? Because you need a variety. What's variety? Different things, not the same thing all the time. You mean like pepperoni pizza? Instead of a cheese pizza? No, I mean a salad instead of a pizza. We need to save money. Why do we need to save money? Because we need to buy a house. But a house is so expensive. That's why we need to save money. How much do we need to save? We need to save enough for a down payment. How much is that? That's about thirty thousand dollars. Thirty thousand dollars? That will take forever. Not if we save every penny. Okay, here's seven pennies. The ocean is so big. You can't see the end of it. It goes on and on forever. And it's deep too. I think it's five miles deep. Are there fish at the bottom? There are fish at the top and the bottom. Are there more fish or more people? I think there are more fish. I hope so. I love to eat fish. I'm upset with my mom. Why is that? I warned her about her new boyfriend. She didn't listen to me. What happened? I gave her a thousand dollars for her birthday. I told her to spend it on herself. That was very nice of you. I found out that she gave it to her new boyfriend. Why did she do that? He said he would buy her a nice ring. What's wrong with that? He went to Las Vegas. He lost it all gambling. Oh, I hope your mom broke up with him. Do animals talk to each other? Of course, they talk to each other. What do they talk about? They talk about other animals. <laughs> What else do they talk about? They talk about food and the weather. Do they talk about us? Of course, they talk about us. What do they say about us? They say that we are funny looking. <laughs> We're not funny looking. 
animals are funny looking. We're funny looking because we wear clothes. I have to clean the house. Yes, it's very dirty. You can help me. Why me? Because you helped make it dirty. What do you want me to do? I want you to clean the bathroom. Oh, that's easy. Clean the sink, the tub, the counter, and the toilet. That's a lot of work. Tell me when you finish. I don't think so. You'll just give me more work. You're watching too much TV. What do you mean? I mean you're wasting your life. I'm having fun. You're sitting there with your mouth open. Who cares? I care. Do something. Okay, I did something. What did you do? I turned up the volume. <laughs> That's not what I meant by do something. Well, you do something. Leave me alone. Did you write a letter to Grandma? Yes, I did. Did you tell her about school? I told her that school is fun. Did you put the letter in an envelope? Yes, and I sealed the envelope. Did you put a stamp on the envelope? I couldn't find any stamps. They're in the kitchen drawer. Okay, I just put a stamp on the envelope. Give me the envelope, and I'll mail it for you. When is Grandma going to learn about email? Why are you yawning? I'm sleepy. Why don't you go to bed? I want to watch this TV show. Maybe you should record it. The tape recorder is broken. Then you should watch the rerun. Why? I'm watching the original. But you'll be asleep in about one minute. I'm just yawning because the commercials are on. Okay, I'll tell you how the show ends. It's Sunday. So? You know what that means. I forgot. Sunday means we go to church. Oh, yeah. Put on a coat and a tie. Why? To show respect to God and others. I'm glad Sunday is only once a week. I hope God didn't hear that. He'll forgive me. Did you feed the cat? I'll do that in a minute. That cat is meowing. He's hungry. Okay, I'll feed him right now. You shouldn't make him wait. I was doing my homework. The cat doesn't care about your homework. The cat doesn't care about anything. That's the way cats are. All they think about is themselves. Maybe we should get rid of him. Of course not. He's family. I hate shaving. Me too. I just cut myself again. Did you use a new blade? It doesn't matter. Old blades cut, new blades cut. Maybe you should use an electric shaver. They make a lot of noise, but they don't give a close shave. Maybe you should stop shaving. And grow a beard? Sure, why not? Because food and other stuff sticks in my beard. Hmm, here's an idea. Put cream on your face and have the cat lick it off. What? Excuse me. Yes? Are you reading this paper? Oh, no. Help yourself. I asked... Because the paper is sitting next to you. Thank you. That's polite of you to ask. 
Some people would just pick it up. Yes, I know some people are rude. I always try to be polite. So do I. The world needs more polite people like us. I agree, one hundred percent. Mom, I want a puppy. Let me think about it. Why do you have to think about it? Because a puppy costs money. No, it doesn't. Puppies are free. Yes, but a puppy needs shots. Shots for what? So it won't get sick, just like you get shots. I hate shots. And a puppy eats food. Food costs money. No problem. I'll give him food off my plate. Oh no, you don't. Puppies don't eat vegetables. Look at all these kittens. How many are there? Eight. They're all so cute. Yes, but I can't keep them. What are you gonna do with them? I'm gonna give them away. Do you want one? Yes, I would love one. Which one do you want? That one, the one that's all black. Yes, I like that one too. I'll call him Blacky. My parents go to church every Sunday. They trust in God. They hope they will go to heaven. They probably will. But no one knows for sure. That's for sure. No one knows what happens after we die. If we are good, we will be happy in heaven with God. That's what many people believe. If we are bad, will we be unhappy forever in hell? I don't want to go to hell. Let's go to church with your parents on Sunday. My husband died. I'm sorry for you. Thank you. When did he die? A couple of months ago. You still miss him? Yes, but I talk to him almost every day. When you go to church? No, when I call him on his cell phone. What do you mean? I buried him with his cell phone. What will you do when the battery dies? Today is Friday the thirteenth. That's a bad day. It's supposed to be unlucky. You're supposed to stay home all day. That's what I do. My friend stayed in a hotel on Friday the thirteenth. That was a mistake. He stayed on the thirteenth floor. What happened? Someone stole his laptop. He was asking for it. He learned his lesson. He's home today. Do you love me? Do you really love me? Of course. Prove it. How can I prove it? Take me to dinner. That's it. That's all I have to do. Take me to a nice restaurant, not to McDonald's. But a nice restaurant costs money. Yes, and you have to make a reservation. That's such a hassle. I knew you didn't love me. Okay, okay. I'll make a reservation right now. My parents are divorced. So are mine. Why did your parents get divorced? My father found a new girlfriend. That's too bad. My mother was hurt and angry. She had good reason. What did she do? She told him to drop his girlfriend. What did your father do? He moved out of our house. I guess he really liked his new girlfriend. Yes, but she left him a year later. My grandma's apartment smells funny. So does mine. I think it's old people's smell. Really? Yes. I think when you get old, you begin to smell like fruit that is too ripe. Yes, just like fruit that is too ripe. But the smell is different. Yes, old people don't smell like fruit. No, they smell like a thrift shop. Yes, a thrift shop has that same smell. Yes, and an old smell. The price of stamps goes up and up. I think stamps used to cost a penny. That was a long time ago. 
It was before I was born. Now, a stamp is 42 cents. But in May, it will be 44 cents. Have you ever lost a letter in the mail? No, I haven't. Neither have I. So, they do a good job for the money. Yes, they do. Maybe we shouldn't complain. A button came off my shirt. What are you going to do? First, I have to find the button. Where did you lose it? I have no idea. A button is hard to find. Did you look in your pant cuffs? That's a good idea. I found a button in my pant cuffs one time. Let me look. No, it's not there. Many shirts come with an extra button. You're right. This one does have an extra button. Now, all you have to do is sew it on. I have to go to the bathroom. You drink too much coffee. But I love coffee. Well, it's your life. You eat too much chocolate. I don't think so. Have you looked in the mirror? Do you think I'm getting fat? I didn't say that. What did you say? I said I have to go to the bathroom. That's what I thought you said. Did you do the laundry? Yes, I did. What did you wash? I washed the sheets and towels. What about the pillowcases? Yes, I took them off the pillows and washed them. Did you dry everything in the dryer? Yes, I dried everything in the dryer. Then what did you do? I folded all the towels. Did you put the sheets on the bed? Yes, I put the pillowcases on the pillows. Do you listen to the radio? I listen day and night. What do you listen to? Mostly talk radio. What's that? People talk about current events. What do they say? They say they want change. What kind of change? They want tax cuts. Why do they want tax cuts? Because tax cuts will save them money. Mom, I'm hungry. Look in the fridge. I'm looking. There's nothing to eat. Are you sure? It's almost empty. I went to the market yesterday. I don't see anything. I bought lots of oranges and apples. I don't want fruit. I want something tasty. Eat the fruit. It's good for you. Next time you go to the market, let me go with you. No, thank you. All you want to eat are hot dogs and candy bars. What is there to eat? I don't know. Look in the fridge. I think I'll make a sandwich. What kind? A ham sandwich. The bread is in the cabinet. Where's the mustard? It's in the fridge, I think. Oh, yes, here it is. Do you want a sandwich? Yes, that sounds nice. How about some potato chips? Yes, and a pickle if we have any. It's time for your bath, young lady. But, Mom, I'm not dirty. You need a bath every day. Why? Because you don't want to smell bad. I don't smell bad. That's what you think. If I smelled bad, I could smell me. I could smell you. I can smell you, too. That's my perfume. When can I wear perfume? Something's wrong with my computer. Exactly what? All I get is a black screen. What's the matter? I think I know because this happened before. What happened before? My hard drive crashed. Oh, no. That's bad news. It sure is, but I'm going to call HP first just to make sure. Will you lose all your files? No, I always back up my files. You're smart. I called HP about my computer. What did they say? They said I need a new hard drive. That's too bad. How much is a new one? It's not too much. Only about $85. Plus installation? No, my hard drive is easy to remove and replace. Really? 
Yes, it's just a couple of screws. That's nice. It's a lot better than paying someone sixty dollars. If my hard drive crashes, I'll just call you. What's your email address? It's Blue Dog One Two Three. Blue Dog One Two Three. Are you sure that's all? Yes. No, that's incomplete. What do you mean? What's your mailing address? Four five six Cherry Drive, Pasadena, California, nine one one seven zero. That's correct. So, what's the problem? Blue Dog One Two Three is just the street. You have to give me the city, state, and zip code. Oh, I get it. My email address is blue dog one two three at yahoo dot com. I'm going to take a nap. You should unplug the phone. That's a good idea. Do you want me to wake you in an hour? No thanks. Just let me sleep until I wake up. I'll start dinner at six o'clock. Okay. I think I'll be awake by then. If not, your nose will wake you up. You mean I will smell the food cooking? You might even dream about dinner. I don't think I'm going to dream about anything. I'm really tired. Have a nice nap. That was a nice funeral. Yes, Dad. It was. The son gave a nice speech about his father. It was long too. I think it was about forty-five minutes long. But it went by fast. It was interesting. I liked it. I'll give you a speech like that too. Do you think anyone will come to my funeral? Of course. I think only the family will be there. You have lots of friends. They will be there too. Yikes! What's that noise? I had to blow my nose. Did you have to blow right next to the phone? Did you hear that? Of course, I heard that. I thought a plane had crashed into your house. It wasn't that loud. I will blow my nose sometime for you, and you'll see. Okay, I'll take your word for it. I thought you had an elephant in your house. <laughs> You're funny. What did you say? I think I've gone deaf. I'm going into the bathroom to blow my nose. I'll be right back. I have lots of friends. Really? How many do you have? I don't know. Maybe one hundred. That is a lot of friends. Do you have a best friend? Of course, I have lots of best friends. How many best friends do you have? I think about twenty-five. Hmm. I have only one best friend. I feel sorry for you. I have only a few friends. You must be lonely. I will share my friends with you. That's very nice of you. Don't you ever cheat on me. Why would I do that? Because men like to cheat. Some men do, but not me. I'm watching you. I'm an open book. Watch me all you want. If I catch you, you'll be sorry. You won't catch me because I love you. I'm not a cheater. I will poke your eyes out. I don't want any other woman. I will chop your toes off one by one. Honey, please. You're the only woman for me forever. I swear it. I hate to go outside. Me too. Why do you hate to go outside? I meet too many jerks. I agree. This city is full of jerks. Rude people are everywhere. But what can you do? You could yell at them, and they will yell back at you. Yelling doesn't do any good. No, the best thing to do is just stay home. Will you look at this form? Are you having problems with it? I don't understand some things. Let me help you. What does M I mean? M I stands for middle initial. What does M M slash D D slash Y Y mean? That means month, day, year. Use numbers. I don't understand. For example, if your birth date is January twelfth, 
1987, write zero one slash twelve slash eighty seven. Oh, that's simple enough. Always print clearly and fill in the bubbles completely. Let's go to the animal shelter. What do you want to do? I want to get a puppy for my son. That will make him so happy. I'll get him one of those little dogs. One that won't grow up too big and eat too much. Do you know which one he would like? Oh yes, I took him there yesterday. He showed me one that he really liked. I bet you had to drag him away. He wanted to take it home yesterday. I wonder what he'll name it. What's the weather like? I don't know. I just woke up. Why don't you look outside? Okay. It-